time for an unboxing. So inside of this massive package here, we have, well, it looks like another package. Now what's inside of the inner package, you may ask? Well, inside of here, we have over 100 identical 3x3 Rubik's Cubes. Now just how many of these 3x3s are there? What's it gonna take to unbox them all? And what the heck am I even gonna do with all of them? Let's find out. All right, so here is what 125 Rubik's Cubes look like. A solid five by five by five cube of three by three by three Rubik's Cubes. For reference, over the last 10 years, I've collected about 250 twisty puzzles, which is a pretty massive number. This right here is about half of that. And I guess the more crazy thing is that the most number of identical puzzles that I've ever had at the same time is probably something like six or eight. So yeah, this is just one ridiculous step up from that. Still, it's no fun just having 125 identical boxes. <laughs> So I guess it's time to start the unboxing. All right, so here is my massive cube of cubes. And you know these little instruction booklets that come with a lot of puzzles and try and show you how to solve them? Well, here's what 125 of them look like in a massive stack. I literally got a cube of instruction booklets too. Now the cubes themselves are the Mofeng Zhaoshi Meilong, and I chose this model of 3x3 for a few reasons. For one, they're relatively cheap. You could say that this giant array of cubes looks kind of like a 15x15, but I can assure you that these definitely cost less than a 15x15. Now I know everyone will ask, where did you get this many puzzles at that kind of price? And the short answer is, a seller in China. I'm pretty sure it's not like straight from the factory because these are actually Moyu puzzles, but it said Chi on the outside of the box, so I think they're just like a reseller. But I would highly advise against it unless you actually need like 100 identical puzzles because the shipping is very expensive and very slow. Now a second reason for the Meilong is its performance. It turns pretty decent, which means it's a very good value for its low price. It is very basic, it doesn't have magnets or anything, but by the time you're adding magnets to 125 different puzzles, that's gonna get really expensive. Thirdly, it comes in stickerless, because who wants to deal with stickers when you have 125 of them? And finally, it doesn't come with a logo, which makes it a lot nicer looking for things like pixel art. Now, speaking of pixel art, what the heck am I gonna do with all of these? Well, the short answer is, make videos. So over the years, I've had all sorts of fun and interesting video ideas that I really wanted to make, but I just couldn't, because I didn't have enough cubes. For example, a recent video, how many Rubik's Cubes can I solve in an hour? I had to heavily improvise just because I didn't have enough cubes to do it. And the cubes that I did have turned so bad that I solved a lot fewer of them than I could have. Another good example is the stop motion pixel art that I do pretty often. I've had to improvise a lot too to make it look like I have more cubes than I have, and so this will help a lot with that. In fact, let's do a quick example right now. And related to that is just making cool stuff with the cubes themselves. Let's try that out too. I've always wondered if that was possible. Maybe not. So I totally thought this would end with like a triumphant, hey, look at this cool thing that I made. But, well, it appears that we weren't so fortunate. Uh, so instead, here's another cool thing that I made. Anyway, yeah, in the meantime, it looks like I have a bit of a mess to clean up. So I guess that's pretty much it. I really hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.